In the last episode, I started killing Corp, and after upgrading my amulet and doing 50 kills, I got both a spirit shield and a holy elixir, including all the new items we got last episode. As always, the new net worth estimation is 599 mil. So with the blessed spirit shield on the account, I have my sights set on two things right now. A sigil, obviously. I mean, it's been a long time dream of mine to own one of the three spirit shields on this account, but I also want to jump into the inferno in the next episode. And for that, I'm gonna need a lot of GP for runes. Each inferno attempt is well over a mil in rune costs, so Corp is the answer to that. One drop of onyx bolts is 1.5 mil GP alone, so Corp is my new home until I either get a sigil or have enough money for the inferno, or both. But Corp wasn't the only place I planned to go this episode. But before we get to that, this video is brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped recently sent me their brand new lawnmower, wait for it, 4.0. That's right, if you thought the lawnmower 3.0 was good. The new fourth generation is truly crafted with precision. It's a cordless, waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, and it comes with a wireless charging station. And I'm happy to advertise because honestly, just owning the product has actually made me motivated to take care of myself and makes crop preservation significantly easier. Speaking of crop preservation, a product I absolutely have to talk about from them is their crop preserver. I've been using this stuff and it is actually godly. Okay, look, man, if you're out here gaming for hours and hours, you and I both know what happens down there and it's super easy to use. It's become one of my favorite things to get from Manscaped. There's so many more products that Manscaped have crafted to perfection for you to give your balls the care they deserve. And you can get 20% off plus free international shipping when you click my link in the description. Thank you again, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Your balls will thank you. Addy bars, baby. That's 350 Addy darts and uh, 60 kill count, too. Uh, Canon Bola, yes? Yes, look at that on the ground, dude. It looks so nice. Actually, give me like a mini heart attack I just haven't seen orange text yet. But uh, I can pretty much just alk while I'm running to do specs and stuff. Like, it should just be zero time getting all this money. And that's 1.5 mil in Alks. The fact that I can get 1.5 mil from just one drop like that is sick. It makes my life so much easier for the Inferno. No way. What? Back to back. Back to back. That's so nice to look at in the chat. 1.5 mil, 1.5 mil, 3 mil and 2 kills. It's like 40 minutes for 3 mil. That's insane. Honestly, I don't really know what my goal is money-wise. I'm pretty much just gonna go until I feel like I have enough because obviously I don't know how many tries the Inferno is gonna take me. I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna spend on each attempt, so I'm just gonna try to get a lot of money, basically. And if I need more, I can always come back, right? Or do something else. I've been using just the cannon base recently. I just set it outside the cave, and that way, if someone comes around, they see the cannon base outside, and they're like, okay, someone's in there. I'm not gonna spec down the corpse, so... Saves my kills from getting sniped, you know? So, pretty controversial decision I'm about to make here, because, uh... I specifically grinded for this item, and I'm about to drop it. So I'm going to be dropping the Aram skirt over to Toby. I don't have a second account uh, that has membership right now, so I'm going to give it to him. And I've decided I'm going to be doing armor takeoffs for the Inferno instead, so that I have enough magic bonus to not splash. And it, it, I don't know, I, just the way I thought it out, it turns out I don't really need much magic bonus armor-wise. The Kodai should be enough. I might honestly regret this. There, there's a good chance I regret this, but... Hey, spirit shield number two on 68 kill count. Ah, cannon ball. Honestly, the more the merrier, dude. Spirit shield number three. And uh, teak plonk. Yes, it's been a while, man. It's It's been a little while. Seeing that orange text again feels good. It's another 1.5 mil to Alk. I went to bed that day with 93 Corp KC, and when I woke up, I was invited to do some theater of blood. I wasn't gonna pass up the opportunity because this was gonna be my first time doing TOB with my new set of gear. No more void, I was now fully kitted out. It was honestly a lot different having almost no space for general supplies and food with having so many pieces of gear and also noted potions in my inventory 
There was a lot of pressure to not make mistakes and that was pretty cool. I completely ran out of food because I made like three bad mistakes on Verzik. It's been a while, but thankfully my boy Airball clutched it out. Well, there was 165 KC. Let's see what we get since we got no purples. Uh, not bad. I actually need that out of your. I'm like almost out of darts, so. And my MVP after only a few raids with the new gear. Pretty cool. This should last for a while. 880 darts. It's not too bad. I'm going to go for either an item or 200 TOBKC, whichever comes first. Might need more darts if I get to 200, though. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Elite Clue, 500 Blood Runes. <gasps> oh my god! Purple in my name! No way! No way! Oh my god, it's been so long, dude. It's been so long. Please, just please don't be a Justy piece. I beg. I beg, dude. Let's stop right there for a second and remind you what I've gotten from the Theater of Blood so far. My first two items were Justicia Legs and the Justicia Chest Guard, and this was the last purple I got on Chest 132. Please. <laughs> Let's open it. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, finally. Finally, dude. An offensive upgrade, something that isn't a, a chest plate or legs. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. One of the things I wanted so badly, it's just like, it's such a beefy upgrade. Oh man, that's looking good. I am getting so much closer to max strength bonus. This is a, a massive step forward. I mean, I'm just so happy to get an offensive upgrade. Uh, I guess I'm ending Theater of Blood there for now. I mean, I did barely any, but to leave with the Avernic is amazing, and I'd love to come back once I have my Infernal Cape done. We're leaving with an Avernic. This is a win and a half. Gonna be having some quality of life upgrades with my raid supplies. I've just been hoarding them, and I'm gonna cut 250 of these rubies because I can get myself a mounted dig site pendant by turning them over to a guy in the museum. Thank you very much, sir. Got the medallion. There it is, mounted dig site pendant. So I have three teleports here now. Oh, what? Okay, so I didn't have like any location unlocked, but it turned out I needed to use my dig site pendant on some strange devices first, but after like 10 to 15 minutes, I had every teleport location on the pendant unlocked. Time to do some corp with the Avernic. It's actually a great upgrade for corp. I should be hitting specs more often, which is the bulk of the grind here so off to get more gp and hopefully a sigil i would uh, simply love that for me so ah uh, yes yeah there we go dude oh it's so nice seeing him on the ground another 1.5 mil to the inferno fund and that is a 100 corp kc very nice well uh we're uh, almost a fifth of the way to the one in 585 sigil drop rate. Mmm, I do be cooking. Oh, second holy elixir. What the hell do I do with this thing now? I mean, it's a 450k alloc, and the, uh, actually, I think the blessed spirit shield is like 700k. I think it's, it's like 600 or 700k for a blessed spirit shield. But yeah, this one is 450k. There we go. Spirit Shield, I've been expecting you. Uh, so, I did look this up. This is a 700k alc. Uh, I don't know if I should alc it or just keep it on me for now. In case I get a sigil, I can just insta-attach it. Uh, but whenever I do decide to get rid of it, that is 700k in one alc. And it looks pretty freaking nice. I love this thing. I, I can't wait to get an actual Spirit Shield, a, a rare one. Man, it's gonna be so sick. Hmm, elite clue to go with my raw sharks. I will absolutely try to do that. Let's see if we can complete it. All right, we got a casket. Let's see what it is. All right, worth it. Oh, it just never gets old. It just never gets old. The orange text does freak me out though, not gonna lie. Like I, I should probably change that, but um, it is nice to see. It's very, very satisfying. It's another 1.5 mil.
So I just got my 163rd corp kill, which was a uh, spirit shield, as you can see. I think the goal for now is just to hit 200. If I can get 200 corp KC, I think I should be good for the Inferno money wise. But I'm recording right now because I'm going to go do a few trips of demonic gorillas real quick because I basically set myself a new side goal, which is this final Zenite. I have three pieces of Zenite jewelry right now, and the only one I'm missing is is the tormented bracelet and then i'd never have to go back to demonic gorillas again so i'm gonna do some now and then i'll do some after i get 200 corp kc or a sigil whichever one comes first and tormented bracelet is a super good glove slot for magic it gives a ton of magic damage and accuracy so definitely one of my dream items to have and it's gonna be so so worth it for raids so second kill back this is this same thing happened i was going for the torture except it was with a light frame nice oh beautiful making so much money dude actually making so much money it's beautiful oh, corp is so good to me dude corp is so good to me i'm getting so lucky with these i'm getting disgustingly lucky i'm gonna actually teleport to my house real quick i had 10 mil when i started now i have 22 mil plus these bolts so that's basically like 26 mil that's that's tons of money for the inferno i'm just gonna finish up 200 kc and then uh do some demonic gorillas and that'll be it oh melone seeds and uh elite clue can it be done is the question all right we completed it let's uh give a bow and then open it yeah okay worth it any orange text enthusiasts <laughs> beautiful man i've uh i've been missing alking i i enjoy alking while running to do my specs so it's it's nice to have more bolts to alk all right 200 corp kc that was my goal for now unfortunately no sigil obviously i'm not even close to being done with corp but uh, i'll do however much it takes to get a sigil about 200 is a nice milestone i'm gonna be up to 26 mil easily after alking all these bolts so this has been a massive success and uh i have so much gp i didn't even expect to get this much for uh for inferno but it's really cool seeing the guide value on this granted it is more than this because i have things in stashes in my house and stuff so it's over 600 mil but it is cool seeing the value number there before we hit up inferno as i was saying earlier i do want to do some demonic gorillas and see if i can get that last zenite I'm not expecting to, but I'm going to do at least like 200 demonic gorillas or something, see if I can get it and just be done with demonic gorillas forever. So it would be really nice to have that tormented for chambers and theater of blood and nightmare. So there's a lot of things, honestly. So let's go try our luck, see if we can get this last Zenit and then it's uh, off to the Inferno. Got a very, very simple setup. I'm only doing two way switch, but it's going to be very comfortable. I'm not really trying to sweat this out right now or anything and i'm not going to be using arc light too much because i only have 700 charges left there and look at this pretty butterfly though man oh, look at this Just dragon med helm we take those looks so good looks so freaking good this is what we like to see hard clue from demonic gorillas um oh my god no way no freaking way oh my god I'm done. I'm actually done. Holy shit. I'm blessed. I'm actually blessed. 22 demonic gorillas, according to my rune light here. What the hell, dude? My luck right now is just unstoppable. My RNG feels invincible, man. Oh, that's demonics done. Uh, okay. It's just under 1500 KC, which is actually... Okay, That's it's nothing crazy. They're 1 in 300, so... It's definitely, definitely a fair KC, but god damn does it feel to, it just feels so good to have demonics done. Five billion chaos runes later, and we have enough. Grab our final onyx. Since I never need to buy another onyx again, I'm just gonna fast sell all of the rest of my chaos runes. 30 mil cash stack now, that's so nice. If this doesn't get me through the inferno, I guess I suck and stink, but we'll see. It's time, baby. It's time. Zenite bracelet. There we go. And enchant. 
Tormented bracelet. We have every piece of Zenite jewelry on the account now. That is actually sick. Gives amazing bonuses. Mainly the 5% magic damage is what people really want from it, but obviously other bonuses are good too. Give some prayer bonus too. So I have that for both Theater of Blood, Raids, Zora, whatever else, uh, Nightmare. Since I'll be taking a bit of a corp break, I'm going to make all of these Addy Bars into darts while they're in my inventory. And that is all of them, which puts me up to 2.6k Addy Darts. I absolutely want to use Rune Darts for the Inferno, but I want to learn with Addy so that I don't waste my Rune Darts. I was enjoying corp so much that I completely went against my word and did another 21 kills to get myself up to 221 corp kill count. Got some more Onyx Bolts along the way, which was nice, but ultimately... I knew it was time to stop stalling. We did over 50 hours of corp alone in this video, and I decided that the next time I come back, I wanted to have an infernal cape on my back. I'll see you in the next episode.